So even though you cannot really tell, I'm pretty up today. So I was um, like Wednesday, if you look, let's see. Yeah, right, okay, not Wednesday, sorry, Friday. So you can see like this uh, 11 a.m., 12 a.m., they kind of get all grouped into one. But it did one of those things where um, I think I was at like 176 or 174. And then all of a sudden it shot up to 186 right at the end of the day. Just because of the um, the options thing it does when it can't can't grab a current price. So there was a position that all of a sudden I was up 12000 on that I was actually down on. So with that in mind, we are kind of up... We're kind of actually up about 10 today. Um, but more importantly, I think it's just that that uh, Tesla settled out a little bit. It's not um, it's not dropping $60 a day during the day plus after hours. I mean, I guess that would have been kind of good at that point. I think it was like 60, uh, 660 bucks or no whatever somewhere around there and if it had dropped 10 more days we would have all got tesla shares for like 20 bucks a pop that would have been pretty awesome um so other than other than just uh crushing my account along the way but hey I, I can take one for the team every once in a while uh so looks looks pretty good looks pretty stable um we'll take a look at what we have here so oh, not there how about here so we have quite a few calls that we sold as part of a cover man, covered, um, poor man's covered call strategy or diagonals. I keep calling them verticals. They are not calendar spreads. They are in fact verticals or no, they are in fact diagonals. Um, which just really, if you think about where one option is in relation to the other time wise and strike price, it makes sense. Like a vertical is just going to be ones on top of the each other. Uh, calendar they're just going to be separated by um by dates not strike prices and um a diagonal would be something else which is this is the case so anyways we have the blackberry 14 call that's expiring this week DraftKings call expiring this week mgm call expiring this week um planeteer call expiring this week so these are all ones that we had sold um so that's all those should all be um as soon as we get close to expiration or maybe sometime here this week, we'll go ahead and roll those guys out because we can open up more of those for free. Um, it's crazy. I don't know when I opened up the 645. I think I did actually roll that up um, a little bit, but still down a hair on that. So as long as uh, nothing crazy this happens, it seems like we got some of the craziness out of our system. The only thing I'm worried about is what happens um, in the Senate with the uh, stimulus bill. If there's some negative news about that, I don't really expect it to pass its first go around, but I guess we'll see. So we have some 630s, some 600s, some 450s, one 450. Um, I think we have another 400 and some, and Tesla calls. So everything coming up, super awesome. BNGO, um, I did sell $2 puts on those a while ago. And what did we get for those? We got, um, Oh, we, we went past, but so we got $89 credit worth of those. So even if it goes down to nine bucks, it's about break even for those. Um, I think once all these are up, I'll probably just, uh, retire out of BNGO. This is, this is, this is actually an example of something that I should not have done. Um, when I'm looking in hindsight, um, I 100% bought that off of hype. I bought it because other people were buying it and I bought it because it was going up. Not one of those reasons is a good reasons to is a good reason to be in that or buy it or anything else. Um, I really should know everything that I own and I, I don't really have a good excuse for that, but having to talk through this, um, that'll, that'll help keep me honest, uh, not only with you guys, but with myself uh, GDRX, another, um, call that sold, um, gap call that we sold. So a lot of these are all just, um, covered calls. Wow. Actually snap poor man's covered call AT and T that is an iron condor. So over the course of the next few weeks, we have quite a bit of, um, 
quite a bit of theta <laughs> that we're looking for some decay on and uh, we should be collecting that we should be collecting that rolling some of those positions over actually the majority of them just because um, with the cover calls so nothing else i have not made a single move this morning the only thing that i have is my auto purchases so i will buy 200 dollars worth of tesla today i will buy a hundred dollars worth of palantir today um i didn't see how palantir was doing this morning do i well, i guess we can look in my actual stock um so 25 and i don't think and I sold one forty dollar call on it, so um, so we're buying a buying a hundred dollars of that today. And then, of course, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for the early thumbs up. But I know this is what you guys all waited for. Want to leave the good at last? So Rolls Royce at a dollar sixty three. Amazing. So <laughs> we're up um, hundred and eighty bucks on this silly silly purchase. I should actually maybe do some real life due diligence on this company and I, you've got to have more more due diligence and um, thesis than than well Justin Bieber got one as a gift but so far so good it's been as good as anybody else's <laughs> so uh, this the stock and 10x ideas anyways I hope you guys have a great day let's make a lot of money